here at the furnace control board. We've got the fan motor turned to on, but nothing is coming on. We've got a red light here. That means this control board is getting power. Our terminal block on the control board is Y for a compressor. We've got W for heat, red for power, green for fan. And then this last one is gonna be the common terminal. I'm gonna put one probe on the common terminal and I'm gonna put the other one on the power one. We can see that our control board is getting the appropriate power from the transformer. And if I put my probe to power, to fan, I should be getting zero. That means we have a call for fan. So we can also do this and you can see that the green for the fan relay is energized. The relay is built into this board, but the fan's not coming on. On the top of this board, I've got my cool for high fan wire. This is coming directly from the fan motor. And I've got my heating speed coming directly from the fan motor. If I remove these, since we're getting a call for the fan, I should have voltage on these because the fan is just on. Over here is our neutral terminal. I'm going to put one probe here and I'm getting zero volts coming out of the board. Means that our board is bad. It's not closing that relay to kick on the fan. So let's bypass that and get this fan running. Power off. I'm gonna bypass this board with this 9340 relay. Here's our 9340 relay. These terminals down here are the 24 volt coil. I'm gonna use the green wire, put one end here, and then the common wire on this end. That's gonna supply power to the coil. And when that closes, from here to here is normally open. So when this coil energizes, it's gonna close these contacts where I'm gonna hook up the fan motor main power. I'm gonna loosen the common terminal. And then feed the wire through the top. Make sure none of the other wires came loose. Run this common to the single side of the coil on the relay. Gonna remove the green wire from the terminal block. Got another wire with the female spade on it. I'm gonna connect that to the other side of the coil. This can go on either one of these. And this is just a, I know I gotta say this, but this is just a temporary fix so we can get the new board in. Here's our fan wires, our main power, okay? Now I can, with this 9340 relay, I can hook both of these up, but I'm really just worried about the cool right now. So we said we're gonna use Terminals four and six. And I'm just gonna park that there. Actually, I'm gonna park that up here. I'm not using it. Now, all I need to do is get power, 120 volt, to this relay. Okay? Here's our main power coming in to the board, all right? I've got another wire with the terminal block. I'm gonna put that on six of the relay. And 
I'm just gonna piggyback off this incoming power, which is off, off obviously. Okay, then just double check all the wiring. Incoming power, 120 volt. It's coming to terminal six. This is normally open, so there's no connection between this, which goes directly to the motor. Our motor still has a neutral hooked up to complete the circuit. When we get a call for fan, this coil is gonna energize, closing the circuit. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on and see if it worked. We are energized. Fan is blowing. Board is bypassed. 